It's the NFL on EA Sports, and there's no love lost between these NFC North foes. It's the Detroit Lions and the Green Bay Packers, next on Madden NFL 24. Historic Lambeau Field. Fittingly, it butts up against Lombardi Avenue here in the heart of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. CD, it is officially a new era here in Green Bay. After a few years of Willie Woney with Aaron Rodgers, it is officially time to see Jordan Love quarterbacking the Green Bay Packers. And we'll find out what lessons he's absorbed along the way, how well he's mastered the playbook, the respect he's gained from his teammates in the locker room. We know that Love is in the air in Green Bay. The key is, what will Love do through the air? But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Two teams that have met at least twice a year since 1932. The Lions and Packers underway from Lambeau. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. In season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. Rumors of Goff's demise? Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdown. It led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Now second and nine. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal game. Minimal yardage, and now they're going to need something more than minimal on this play coming up. An early tough test on the opening drive. This is third and eight. Now golf. And he is caught, and he'll have this past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. Goff to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the Packers pick it up. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. And without a doubt, not the way they pictured that opening drive unfolding. No, they were making progress. They weren't exactly in high gear, but they, they were making a few yards along the way. And now that they've coughed it up, you got to go back to the sidelines and regroup a little bit. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. This is set up now to be the true beginning of Love's NFL career because he's finally out from under the shadow of Aaron Rodgers, and Green Bay is giving him this season to prove he can be their starter. Four years after he was drafted in the first round, we'll find out if Love is the next decade-long starter for the Green Bay Packers. They got the fumble recovery. Now here's Love to pass. 
Well, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think we could all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. The Wolves throw finds its target, Dobbs. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Packer first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. A carry here for the big tight end. A pickup of four on first down. It'll be second and goal. It's a bit of a dangerous part of the field for him to break into their bag of tricks, but for a minute there, I thought it was going to set up perfectly for him. Instead, they don't get into the end zone, but they do pick up positive yardage. One back in the game. That's Jones, second and goal. They'll give it to him up the middle. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Green Bay touchdown. Aaron Jones, a touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Packers take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat. Chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Carlson's extra point up and good, and it's now a 7 0 game. and back out there now to send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek and we'll take a break. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. They had to fumble on the last drive, wound up leading to the opening touchdown. Now they'll try again here, first and 10. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 29, here's second and five. off now looking to throw got St. Brown running the quick slam here and he gets this one just shy of the 40 they'll mark him down at the 39 they picked up five yards last time now they double it and get 10 here so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and 10 they'll try the middle with Montgomery and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. <laughs> I know we can't hear what's going on in that huddle right now, but I'll guarantee you at least one offensive lineman is saying, my bad, we simply couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage. We've got to do a better job trying to root those guys out of there. Here's a second and eight. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery, and he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. 
two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Here's third and six. Here's Gall. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. It certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. Now the rookie, Jaden Reed, deep for the Packers. This is taken at the 15. A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. And Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stranglehold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They've just got to go seize it. Off the play fake, Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second and six. To throw now. Here's Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 39. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him. Because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. Second and five. Now Love. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Reed. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback it makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. Love now. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Hard I came into this game eager to see how they would hold up in man coverage. And on that play, they held up quite well. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. And this will be a 45-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And 
Now that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. field goal 10 nothing here early as the kicks away and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 and Detroit back in possession of the football they look to get something started they need to down 10 nothing early as they've got it first and 10 off now to throw over the middle complete it's Reynolds and he'll be brought down on the 30 yard line after a gain of six and I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this they want him to get the ball and run after the catch good job there though holding him for a short gain to throw on second down is gone targets and finds Reynolds once more Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Play action. It's golf. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Now a second and ten. Gone. This is Montgomery with a grab over the middle. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Well, offensively, that's a mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 36. 23 yards on the play. You can almost hear the sigh of relief coming from their sideline and from their point on the field because this has been a tough start for them thus far. A much-needed first down there. They needed something good to happen. Plays like that will continue to help them dig out of this hole. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Again, golf. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. The loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. I believe I could see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught. 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packers are going to get this back to their own 34-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception, but meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. And he'll rumble for about five, up close to the 40. Brandon, five yards on that run. 
Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Love looking to throw it. Quick slant to Watson. First catch for him all the afternoon, and it results in a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now a first down carry by Jones, and he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Play action this time with Love. This one into the hands of the rookie, Luke Musgrave. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they've got it with a third down coming up. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. A nice little juke. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It's a gain of 16 and a first down for the green and gold. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. Play fake. Here's Love. Able to find his man, Kraft. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. This second and four. On play action. Love to throw. Short throw. He's got Kraft. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They go back to the ground with Jones, and he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Another strong run from the underrated Aaron Jones, who really deserves more credit for what he has done for the Packers. Even splitting carries in an offense that loves to throw it around, Jones put up his third 1,000-yard season in the last four years. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. 45 yards on the ground for him so far. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So they need two yards here on third down. Remember, they're already two of two on third down conversions on this drive. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs.
They'll run for it with Dillon. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. Deep in the red zone, seemed like they had their mind made up that that was four down territory, and now they've got it inside the five. I like the way you looked at that because you're thinking... And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes our score 17-0. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. don't want to. But no, but uh, well, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, can go. I think you just called a desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But yeah. let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to throw, Goff. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. It's been a very one-sided game so far. They got to change what they're doing right now, don't they? You can't wait till the halftime speech to make an adjustment. No, you can't, because if you're doing it right, you're adjusting from series to series, and they need a big adjustment here to try and put some points on the board. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know at times people think we use it too often, but you've got to be able to throw guys open. And when you read zone, you've got to stick it in there before your receiver gets to the next guy in the zone. Otherwise, you bring him into the play. And that's precisely what allowed that defense to disrupt the pass. To the air again. Goff. His throw incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and ten. Now a play fake, and it's golf. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early, and now it's fourth down. I know this offense was expecting to do big things, but it certainly hasn't turned out that way, at least not through the first three drives. They're definitely going to have to put their heads together and start concocting some offense that will move the ball downfield. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Here comes Reed. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Green Bay returning on offense, led by running back Aaron Jones. Good returns on the last drive. He hit the end zone for the second time. Good returns in this first half, really. Yeah, good returns for his team. Really good return for the guy. And you know where I'm fantasy. going. Darn right. Those fantasy guys who have him on their team, they're rejoicing right now. And they have a high expectation 
that what they've seen already There's will gonna continue. Be more. You yes. talk about fantasy a lot, but you don't. Why don't you just play? You know, I'm not good enough to play in the fantasy game. Yeah, I enjoy watching. You're an you analyst. You're an expert. I mean, you were a champ last year. Keep it up. Fifth place. Okay. Well, that's a champ in my book. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field I'm like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Love. Throwing left side, and Watson has it. So five yards here, five on the play. And now that sets up third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, here's Jones. And able to pick up the first across midfield to the 47. 57 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. Again, it's Jones. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. And it's second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. On second down, it's Jones. And good work there in open space, and he's got this all the way down now to the 32. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And inside give to Jones. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? when the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down, Love. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And the Packers are going to have first and goal coming up as they're able to convert there on third and two. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of it's been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll run here with Dillon. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. Definitely an important sequence here for this defense. They've had their share of struggles in this first half. They just cannot afford to give up another touchdown here. And the ball smack dab on the five yard line. Here's second and goal. Again, it'll be Dillon. 
A good display of power, but ultimately it gets him just inside the five to the four and no further. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A chance to really put this game out of reach. Here's third and goal. To pass, here's Jordan Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Romeo Dobbs from four yards out. And the Packers continue to pull away here in this first half. And down near the goal line here, they're able to throw it in. And the key word, quick. Quick hitter out of his hands fast, into the receiver's hands even faster. Now Carlson for the extra point. And the lead is now 24. So that drive spans 13 plays. And that drive all capped off with a Romeo Dobbs touchdown. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores, and I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. A throw there, but that's gonna wind up incomplete. Well, this defense is certainly organized and playing off of each other because the rush is providing pressure and the coverage is forcing incompletions and capitalizing on mistakes. When you get every level on defense hitting it once, you get first half scores just like this one. Back to the air, Goff on second down. He completes it to Jones. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. 11 yards there and a lion first down. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Oh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up, converged on his man, and broke the play up. Second and 10. Goff throwing again. This one swung out to Montgomery. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. He's got his running back out of the backfield. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. To throw is golf. Throw left side complete. That's Jones. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds.
From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. Goff. He's got right on the short throw. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now it's gone. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Here's second and 10. Here's Goff. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gibbs. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the right hash, this from 53. And that is no good. Oh, he missed it just wide of the upright, and the deficit will stay at three scores. Well, I'd say that it's fair to say nothing has gone right in this first half for them. Even here, you've got a chance to at least get on the board, but that goes by the wayside. And now this coaching staff, They've got to figure out some way to wake this team up at halftime to get them going. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he's going to be taken down here as that will lead us to the end of the first half of play. So we're at halftime here at Lambeau with the Packers taking the lead to the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. This was an extremely one-sided first half. One team showed up, ready to go. The other's been in a daze thus far, but there's still plenty of time left for this one to tighten up significantly. All right, in that Coach, first half, thank you, and we welcome everyone Aaron back Jones, for so had it going. number three. He's over 100 yards rushing for the game already and found the end zone twice as well. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 22. And quickly out wide, this is Watson. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second and nine. Up 
the middle, Jones. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. A four-receiver set here, third and five. To throw now, here's Love. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. This is just more of the same. This defense has had no answer on a lot of these throws. They let these receivers run wild. And here's another completion for good yardage. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 120 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Now throw there by Law, pulled in by Reed. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Throwing, love. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. Now whistles here, flag down. I think one of the Packer linemen was moving. Well, this O-line's been great. They've got the big lead, so give them a pass there, I guess. Yeah, I would think so, because if we were grading them on their performance in this game, a lot of pluses in their boxes so far. A false start backs them up five, first and 15. Now Love. He'll find Jones again, complete. He's got room to roam. That's a Packers touchdown. Aaron Jones, 25 yards for the touchdown. And the Packers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that a heck of a lot. But how can they get out of here with some dignity? Can they get a stop or two? Can they make a play on offense themselves? Anything to start to feel better about what's happened to them here in this one. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history, and that's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. And, partner, you know as that team gathers, they're saying to each other, you never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late, that wasn't enough to put someone away. But that being said, this task is near impossible. Let's face it. And bottom line is, it officially becomes impossible if this possession 
is an empty one. From the 43, it's second and three. Here's Goff. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And he is going to have the Lions first down, I do believe. Yes, he's got it by about a yard there on third and three. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first down, it's gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Two yards to go, second down. Play action. It's golf. Able to avoid him at the 40. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 10 for the Lions and a first down. Well, still in the third quarter here. Now, you look at the scoreboard, that deficit probably a little too much to overcome. But completions like that may be something to build on for future weeks. Yeah, it's all about ending things on a strong note here, isn't it? Because my mindset is it's a new ball game from here to the end. Make sure it's a good one and close it out. Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right and then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Again, golf. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Took till the second half, but finally a red zone opportunity here. First and ten right at the 20. And it's caught. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Marvin Jones. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Lions are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. A nice connection there, finding his target, and that'll put six up on the board. Just like they drew it up in their playbook and reiterated it on the sidelines, right? Perfect route, a good throw in the defense. They had no answer for that right there. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is down to 24. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jordan Love and the Packers heading back out there. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head, head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off again the end of the too. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Love, they go play action now. Got Dobbs over the middle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Now here's Jones again on second down. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. 135 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They'll go again to Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. From the three, second and a yard. A give to Jones. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him two yards, that sets him up first and goal. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. Dillon is going backwards as he'll be tackled back at the four-yard line. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. Well, if this defense has any hopes of getting back into this game, they've got to start right here and keep these guys out of the end zone. That's a good step one on that play. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Love with a give to Dillon. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Jones, and Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. No gain on the play, and what to do now on fourth and goal? Defense didn't budge on third down. Now, what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what, oh, right? Yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it, and I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. They'll try and pound it in with Dylan, and I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. They stop him up short on fourth and goal from the one. And the Lion defense able to come up there with a goal line stand. Well, their first fourth down attempt earlier was successful. This one backfires for a turnover on downs. I like their aggressiveness. I like what they're doing. They got it the first time they went for it. Why not a second time? I don't think they'll be daunted from attempting it again. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, though, any fourth down stop is a big momentum play. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Fighting to get back to the goal line. I don't think he got there. He did not, did not get back there. It's a safety. And the safety there, another mistake. And these mistakes just keep piling up. How many more can they make? They put themselves in such a massive hole now. Gonna be difficult to dig out from under. Yeah, for sure they can't afford anymore at this point. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. 
On the return is Reed, and he'll be out of bounds here just past the 20-yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. He's had a touchdown for every quarter so far. Three here in the third and probably hoping he's not done yet. And this is a situation where it's okay to be greedy. When you've already scored three times, you want four, you want more than that. And guess what? That only helps your team. Yeah, so far three now in search of four. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Love from the gun. And that is incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Green Bay, Wisconsin is the spot. Third quarter inside Lambeau. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Play fake. Here's Love. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep blow with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Play action this time with Love. Caught on the right side by Jones. And they get the guard, John Runyon. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. After the penalty, it's Jones. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth on this Diz, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone the ball seems bigger and he's just whacking it these guys they've got it going today that'll go as a punt of 42 seven on the return and the lions will take over and detroit getting set to go now we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing cd but unfortunately the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first yeah, that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing. And, partner, they do have some good news, though. This one is getting close to being over, and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow. Goff on first down. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Goff now looking to throw. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. 
On first and 10, Goff. He'll go right back to St. Brown. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Goff now looks to throw. The left side completion to Jones. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. So just three yards on the completion there. And now one yard to go on third down. Now Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column. But as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Back to Montgomery on second down. Oh, he shifts past him, and he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. And he showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Give him nine yards on the carry there. A good run. And now second and goal. A shotgun snap for golf. There's Laporta. He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Lions get a bit closer. Oh, it seemed like they were so focused elsewhere, they forgot about the tight end spot, and he's the one that burns them there to make this a three-score game here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. I think there might be a little bit of defensive fatigue from those guys on that side of the ball, partner, because they've been spending their time trying to stop them from all angles. This time, the tight end gets them. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skills, partner, because I think you saw them charge onto the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this group is ready to crush any hope left on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. Don't mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. 
And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Kirby Joseph there to drop him. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to, and right now they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score, but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And he's got room, and he is out of bounds inside the 35. 27 yards there, a first down. Well, normally you might say start running the football, you've got the lead here in the fourth quarter, but the way that they passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack, but you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well. Jones hit in the ball zone. Wow, that ball gets knocked free but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. Off the play fake, Love. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Partner, you and I have struggled with this for years. You've got the lead. Just take care of the football and burn some of that clock. But there's something to be said for not taking your foot off the gas as well because you can never have too big of a cushion. That one, though, falls incomplete. On third down, here's Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. A first down run here by Jones as he'll take it forward for a gain of about four. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Well, I think he's as fine with that incompletion as a quarterback can be, in all honesty. He avoided his first sack of the game, and he did have a chance of connecting for yardage, just unable to on that throw. This offense so far on third down, now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. This will be third and six. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. So off goes Love. On is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so that you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better 
and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? To get back in this ball game, big plays are going to be necessary. And here's one right on cue. Coming up with three scores here in the fourth is not going to be an easy task. But that's good work there to bite off a chunk of yards. Now golf on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. On second and ten, Goff. He completes it to Jones. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and run for it. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. He needed a yard. He didn't get anything. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Derek Barnes in on the stop. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. He ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. They'll try and run for it with Jones. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. 
and usually they say if we win the turnover battle we'll win well here's the proof right there win the turnover battle go on to victory